If your games are stuttering, dropping frames, or just not feeling smooth, even with a decent GPU. So this video is for you. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the most effective NVIDIA control panel and system tweaks to unlock your graphics card's full potential. Let's start by opening the Windows search bar and typing registry editor. Right click on it and choose run as administrator to ensure you have full editing access. Once it opens, copy the first registry path provided in the video description, then paste it into the address bar at the top of the registry editor window and press enter. This will instantly take you to the correct location where we'll apply a GPU related power optimization. Inside this directory, look for a DW word entry named power throttling off. If it already exists, double click it and set its value to one. This disables any built-in GPU power throttling by Windows, allowing your Nvidia graphics card to maintain full performance without being restricted by background power saving features. If the power throttling off value doesn't appear in the list, don't worry. Just right click in the empty space on the right side, go to new and select DW word 32-bit value. Name it exactly as power throttling off, making sure there are no typos. Once created, double click on it, set the value to 1 and click OK. This registry tweak is especially effective for gaming as it ensures your GPU won't be slowed down by unnecessary power management, which is common on laptops and even some desktop setups. Now guys, it's time to unlock the full performance of your NVIDIA GPU with my NVIDIA Max Performance Unlock Pack. You can download it instantly from my official website. Just head over to uptopacks.com, click on the FPS Boost tab and look for the pack with the same title and thumbnail you see in this video. Once you find it, hit download. It's a simple one-click process. After downloading, start by opening the GPU Registry Tweaks folder. This step is crucial. It contains the tweak that improves how Windows handles GPU tasks during gaming. Inside the folder, look for a file called Gaming Performance Registry. This file is the foundation of this optimization. Just double click it, click yes when prompted, and then press OK to apply it. This tweak tells Windows to give GPU related processes higher priority, which helps improve stability and responsiveness during games. Next, you'll find two more registry files named low medium optimization and the medium high optimization. These are tailored based on your system's GPU capability. If you're using a lower end or older graphics card, the low medium optimization is the right pick. But if you've got a more powerful or modern Nvidia GPU, then go for the medium high optimization to maximize performance while keeping things stable. Not sure which one is right for your system? Drop a comment and I'll personally help you out. Now, open the GPU thread optimization folder. This folder includes specific registry tweaks for Nvidia. This tweak is designed to optimize how your GPU handles multi-threaded tasks, which is especially helpful for smoother gameplay and pushing higher FPS. Just double click the file, confirm both prompts with yes, and then press OK. Once applied biz, this tweak helps your GPU distribute workloads more efficiently, reducing stutters and giving you that extra edge in performance. Next, let's move on to an important optimization step running the MSI mode utility as an administrator. Once the tool opens, you'll see a list of all the devices on your system. Look for your primary NVIDIA graphics card in the list. Once found, check if MSI mode is already enabled. If it isn't, go ahead and enable it. This setting changes how your GPU handle system interrupts, allowing it to process and transmit data more efficiently. Enabling MSI mode can reduce input lag, fix inconsistent frame times, and improve overall smoothness during gaming. While you're here, you'll also see an option to set the interrupt priority. For most users, it's best to leave this setting at normal to ensure system stability. Unless you're an advanced user who understands how your system balances interrupts, changing this setting isn't necessary. Once MSI mode is enabled, just click apply to save the changes and then close the tool. Now, let's fine tune your GPU with MSI Afterburner. After installing and launching the application, you'll see a dashboard with several adjustable sliders. These include core clock, memory clock, power limit, temperature limit, fan speed, and voltage. 
all critical for customizing performance safely. If you want a safer way to get better performance without pushing your GPU too hard, here are some recommended tweaks that should work on most Nvidia cards. Start by adjusting the core clock. Increase it slowly in steps of plus 10 to plus 20 MHz. This boosts the GPU's processing speed while keeping things stable. Then move on to the memory clock, where a plus 25 to plus 50 MHz bump can slightly improve how fast your VRAM handles textures and high resolution assets. Keep the power limit at 100%, which is the default value. While pushing it higher can unlock more headroom for performance, the default is safer for everyday gaming. For the temperature limit, set it to around 83 degrees disease. This is a balance point where your GPU can still perform well without overheating. As for fan speed, it's best to leave it on auto, allowing your card to adjust cooling based on the workload. But if you're playing in a hot environment or want lower temperatures, you can set it manually. Just keep in mind it will make your system a bit louder. Lastly, avoid touching the core voltage. Increasing voltage can lead to much higher temperatures and may shorten the life of your GPU. It's better to leave it untouched unless you're experienced with manual overclocking and have advanced cooling in place. By carefully applying these settings, you can get a noticeable performance boost while keeping your system stable and safe. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now, right click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Select Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, click Apply and hit Take Me There. Image Scaling. Turn this off. It lowers performance and isn't needed for competitive gaming. Ambient Occlusion. Keep it off. It reduces FPS and isn't beneficial from the control panel. Anisotropic filtering, set to 16x. This sharpens textures without hurting performance. FXAA, turn off. It makes the image blurry. Use your game's built-in anti-aliasing instead. Gamma correction, keep it off. Modern games already apply this on their own. Anti-aliasing mode, set to application, controlled to let games manage it properly. Anti-aliasing transparency, Turn off. It offers no major benefit and can lower performance. Background application. Max frame rate. Enable and set to 30 FPS to free up system resources when tabbed out. Pseudo. GPUs. Leave on all. It ensures your GPU handles all CUDA tasks. CUDA system. Fallback policy. Leave on driver default. No need to change. DSR factor. Turn off. You don't want super sampling when targeting high FPS. Low latency mode, set to on. This reduces input lag better than off or ultra. Max frame rate, keep it off. Control your FPS cap within the game if needed. Multi-frame sampled AA, MFAA, set to off. It doesn't work well with most games today. OpenGL GDI compatibility, leave it on auto for best compatibility. OpenGL Rendering GPU. Set it to your actual NVIDIA GPU instead of Auto Select. Power Management Mode. 
Choose Prefer maximum performance to prevent power saving throttles. Preferred Refresh rate Set to highest available to avoid FPS locks on high refresh monitors. Shader cache size Set between 1GB and 5GB. Helps prevent stutters during gameplay. Texture filtering Anisotropic sample optimization Turn off for consistent texture quality. Texture filtering Negative LOD bias Set to allow for slightly sharper textures in some games. Texture filtering. Quality. Set to performance for FPS focused gameplay. Texture filtering. Trilinear optimization. Turn on. It improves speed with minimal visual impact. Threaded optimization. Leave it on auto to let the game decide when to use multi threading. Triple buffering. Turn off. It only benefits OpenGL games, which are rare today. Vertical Sync, V-Sync, set to use the 3D application setting, manage it in-game when needed. Virtual Reality, pre-rendered frames, leave it at 1, or ignore it if you don't play VR games. Vulkan, present method, leave on auto to maintain compatibility with modern Vulkan titles. Once all settings are adjusted, click apply at the bottom. The screen might flicker briefly and then you're done. Your system is now tuned for optimal NVIDIA gaming performance. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more gaming optimizations. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.